Hi, I'm Ashwin. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Do branches really matter in college placements? This is the most requested video in my YouTube channel. Like most of them message me to make a video on how non-CS people can enter into coding jobs or software related jobs. And in this video, I want to clear out, clear that uh, uh, by giving you some suggestions on how it is possible. So in general, branches really doesn't matter in college placements or to get an IT job, your branch doesn't matter. So if you can see uh, many of the people, many of the founders of different IT companies and different, um, I mean, product based companies, you can see they're not from CS background. So there are various kinds of people who graduated from uh, non CS branches like electronics, electrical, mechanical, civil, chemical, even there are people with complete uh, I mean, opposite to computer science, but they still crack the IT jobs. So it doesn't matter whatever the branch you study. So if you have a good good knowledge on coding and all, all those stuff that you need in order to get into this company, then you will be placed ultimately. But the question arises how to uh, be a part of campus placements when companies arrive in your college or when you are approaching for off-campus off drive or pole campus drive, or you're directly approaching for company, then in most of the colleges, all the circuit branches will be allowed to participate in any kind of uh, MNC drives. So it might be CSC or electronics, electrical, even, even companies like TCS will allow mechanical and civil to participate in the drive too. So there is no question that uh, non-CS branches will not be allowed to take part in IT company drives because most of the companies that colleges get are IT companies. So if you can see, that is the reason why people are rushing towards IT jobs. And yes, so whatever the branch you are, you will get an opportunity. But the other question is how to be prepared in order to get a campus placement being a non-CS guy. So as a non-CS guy, the expectations will be low. The first thing is if you are trying for a service-based company, the expectations will be low but you need to be good in one programming language, a basic understanding of data structures and algorithms, even though you're not required to be a pro when you are applying for service based company, but having a knowledge on data structures and algorithms will really help you to stand out from the crowd. So even there are chances that you can dominate a CS people in, in this case. The other thing is applying for product based companies or startups. So when you're applying for product based companies, branch doesn't even matter so whether you might be in electronics guy mechanical guy whatever it might be so they never care about branches only service based MNCs will care about branches and they will interview people based on the branches so i some many people so if they're non cs like a companies the expectations from the companies is really low and well it's it's uh, a person is from a cs they will they will have some expectations they will have their own expectations like is it from a cs background so he need to know, I mean, a certain um, set of uh, skill set. But but yeah, if you are applying for a product based company, everyone is same here. So you need to do some groundwork. So I will suggest you um, a learning things if you want to get into a software development role in a product based company or any other company. So if you prepare for this, then you will be uh, into any kind of company, any kind of IT job or any kind of software. So you will get into that. So the first thing is learn a programming language. So whatever it might be, it might be C, Java, Python, or JavaScript, C++, whatever it might be, learn one programming language completely. So use sites like HackerRank or CodeChef to practice uh, the, the problems because just learning syntax will not help you. So just practice them. So I have already uh, made a video on how to approach for campus placements. You can check in my uh, profile. You can check in my channel. So you will get that. So the other thing is just learn uh, data structures and algorithms. So if you learn data structures and algorithms, then ultimately you will get some time to practice on them. So try to practice data structures and algorithms. So even though you, you are from uh, I mean mechanical, electronics, chemical, aeronautical, whatever it is, you will have a at least one programming subject in your entire curriculum. So, because it's common for most of the people, so you will get that. So try to learn on programming language, try try to work on your own. So even though you don't have subjects in your curriculum, so try to work on your own. There are various learning resources. If you want to learn a programming language, even you can learn everything from YouTube or there are, you can take courses or so whatever it might be. So try to learn one programming language where it might be anything and data structures and algorithms is the thing. So I, I suggest um, Geeks for Geeks is one such platform or hacker rank. So you can go and learn data structures and algorithms and you can practice every single day. Then, then ultimately you will have some exposure on uh, like programming and data structures and algorithms. Then 
there are high chances that you will be get ahead but the other thing that other, i mean non cs branches will lack from cs branches is the core subject knowledge because as you are uh, willing to go into it company then they expect you some basic things and you you don't need to learn all the subjects of computer science but i will suggest you some subjects that you need to take care of the first thing is computer networks so you need to know computer networks you can learn it freely in the internet so again just concentrate on computer networks and operating systems just try to understand different operating system scheduling and all those stuff you can you can also take help from your cs friends uh, in order to do that so operating systems computer networks the other thing is computer organization so it's somewhere uh, relevant to operating systems but we need to get uh, knowledge on computer organizations so how RAM, what what actually is ram the differences between different memory units and all those stuff you need to know the complete hardware and software of the computer so computer organization is one such important subject and apart from these three try to learn databases so try to learn at least one database so it might be a mysql oracle whatever it might be try to learn one database so these four are important and there are some other subjects like design patterns and system design so once you are familiar with uh, the previous four then you will get to know all these stuff so the mandatory things are like there are seven mandatory things the first thing is one programming language data structures algorithms computer networks operating systems computer organization and databases if you are good in all these seven then there is uh, no barriers for you you can compete with cs students and you can even dominate them in uh, in order to getting into a product based company and if you are good in all those things you, you don't need to you don't even need to think about service based company you will definitely be high so this is a road map that you need to follow and even though your colleges will not allow you to placements you can directly apply uh, for startups you can you can approach them directly through linkedin or their careers portal you with if you have these skills if you are ready to a crack interview at any time then ultimately you will get hired so in order to i mean forget about all those stuff just concentrate on learning and if you are good in all these stuff you will be hired no matter what the difficulties no matter what the competition is so forget about all those things and just start learning from day one so yeah thank you for watching this video if you really like this and even though you are a cs student or non non cs student whatever it might be so try to share it with your uh, non cs friends it might be helpful for them and it really boost them to start learning from today thank you thank you for watching this video and if you are a new visitor to my channel please subscribe to my channel